Now here's someone ready to storm into a fight. First one to enter, last one to leave. The following contest is a triple threat match. And it is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Introducing the challenger from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 241 pounds, L.A. Knight. Knight made headlines when he became a breakout superstar. Now he's on the type of ascent that can't be stopped. This guy has never met a spotlight he didn't like, but I'll give credit where it's due. When you're as good as L.A. Knight, you shine bright naturally. Here comes one dangerous man, Solo Sokoa. And introducing the challenger, representing the bloodline from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds, Solo Sokoa! Solo is a man who annihilates the competition with ruthless and unflinching efficiency. We've learned that the enforcer of the bloodline is not about talking, he is all action. When it comes to the street champion, Solo always puts that title on the line. Ladies and gentlemen, the Tribal Chief is here. And we may have no other option but to acknowledge him. And introducing the champion, representing the bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Herman Hayes. Over 1,200 plus days as Universal Champion, the third longest reigning world champion in WWE history. Three plus years of dominance. Dozens of successful title defenses. Yeah, it's got to feel like pure intimidation when you are facing Roman Reigns. It may even feel like victory is virtually impossible. Reigns is firmly established as the head of the table and has no intention of being unseated.
just can't help but be in awe of the Tribal Chief. I agree, Saxton. This man has truly earned his spot at the head of the table. of the highly coveted Intercontinental Championship. Its holder is frequently considered by many as the hardest working champion in all of sports entertainment. One of the most beloved titles in all of WWE, the fate of the Intercontinental Championship will be decided here in this triple threat matchup. Heads will be on a swivel in this one with LA Knight, Solo Sokoa, and Roman Reigns. And you know these odds do not favor the champion, but that's what defending the title is all about. Oh, what a clubbing blow. Ooh. Big forearm. And what a burning lariat. And that was an effective attack, guys. Oh, what a kick. Ooh. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Stiff kick. Boom, Solo with a timely counter. Yikes, that'll either way you ever knock you out. I'd have to think that a no disqualification match favors the most heartless competitor in the ring. Well, that's mostly true, but even the most rule-abiding superstars have risen to the occasion of a no disqualification match. When there are no rules, there's no wrong and right. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. Samoan drop. Here's the pump handle. Suplex. Launched. The challenger eating up some damage. Roman just solidifying his position at the top with that kind of offense. LA Knight ready to use the microphone as a weapon. This time, literally. Utilizing the top rope to inflict more punishment. Climbs back inside. Headbutt! Jumping neckbreaker. Ouch! Cinching in a waist lock, but right hands. Manages to fight out with a series of punches. And from the GDT! Fight! Two count. I didn't think this match was close to over. Stomping. Ouch. Clearly hoping something nefarious is beneath the ring. He's looking to unload on his opponent with that kendo stick. He'll take things into the ring. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. I think that one busted Roman Reigns open. Show confidence. The tribal chief has it since then. Oh, Roman Reigns with the curve out. He breaks up the hold. Lift it up. What do they have in mind here? Burning hammer. Those last hits rattled the champ. Hanging tight as this match progresses. No easy task in a triple threat match. Oh my gosh, what impact. He leaves the ring and there's no countouts in this one. Grabbing a kendo stick. Any connection with flesh will definitely leave a welt. This fight is going down right in front of our faces. More up close and personal than I'd like to be. There he goes, right yeah. in the corner. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. Into the ring again. In the close eye. That's 
Tanner finds its target. Puts the boot to the midsection. Expected that one. Powerless position to be in right now. Tossed around like a rag doll. Just discarded the chair like a chump. Cover by the challenger. The pen's broken up. Winding up. Boom! Samoan spike. Cover by Chief Hill. Surprise in a havoc filled triple threat, you're gonna take some big hits. Left by the turnbuckles. Oh man, turning the microphone into a shot put weapon. Momentum clearly on the side of Sokoa. Unrelenting attacks from Solo. Uh oh, winding up. There's a Samoan spike. Ouch. The title's in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm has shifted. Is huge. Ah, oh, knee smashing the face. After all we've seen, these men are still not finished. There's a fire burning inside these competitors that won't allow them to quit. Whoa, not quite yet. You're a Nagi. Man, oh man. And deep into the match, Reigns lets fly yeah. another heavy attack there. Throughout the course of this match, Roman has been a force to be reckoned with. Pop-ups their opponent. Into a reverse power slam. Wow. The challenger's hopes are slipping away. He can really stand to get back as good as he's getting right about now. One step ahead of Knight there. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Getting back into the ring. Nice being taken into the deep waters here. Oh, pin attempt for the championship. Title match stays alive. Somehow, some way, he is Reigns hits it. Looks like the champ is going to retain. That's gotta be it. Two. And the champ stands tall once again. champ as he retains the title what a title defense for him tonight he came in with that unshakable champion mentality